on on getting a card this year, maybe. Really? Yeah. Kaboom! Kaboom! Yeah! Oh my God, dude! How many uh, was Was that I, four? I, I... Hey, what's going on, guys? Walla here. In today's video, I'm going to be using my new favorite subclass, at least for Trials of Osiris and even 6v6. This thing is really fun to play, and it's also really strong, too. I already made a video on Voidwalker the other day, but it was an edited video, and I wanted to do a just full gameplay one as well and kind of show you guys why this is so strong mixed with Top Tree Nova. Not Bottom Tree, Top Tree. You want to mix Axion Bolts with the Chaos Accelerant because this makes Axion Bolts ridiculously strong, and I'm going to show you guys how strong they really are right here so normally when you throw an axion it does around i think 100 something damage 100 102 damage 100 and then plus two for some random reason and when you actually charge it up it doesn't do a crazy amount more it does around like 125 yeah 125 but the reason why the charged up one is so much better is because the range increases so if i throw it here they're both still gonna get tagged which is kind of stupid because it was now it was it wasn't even in the radius right it was just so far away but uh, I think it's about 18 meters, someone said. So I think this should still tag them. And uh, that's why it's so damn good. And if they get closer together... Here, guys, move closer together. You could actually one-shot them because each Axion will tag both people. Uh, and this happens a lot more than you actually think. And when you do that and a lot of people are next to them, you could just get a bunch of multi-kills, especially in 6v6. It's really good. So this is why I'm using the class right now. I also want to show you guys the tracking when you actually charge this up. I'm going to throw it down and they're going to run away. They're not going to like Icarus dash or anything because obviously you can get away with Icarus dash, but it actually chases you for quite a while. And uh, even if they're just full sprinting, it stays on their ass the whole time and they do have to move. Uh, it's not crazy, crazy distance, but it's still some really good distance. So that's another reason why it's so good. They have to move. It's really hard to shoot it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. I'm going to be pairing this with a Demolitionist IS Luna, so I will get my grenade a lot faster. And one of the gameplays you're going to be watching, I am going to be using Transversive Steps, and the other one I'm going to be using the Gauntlets that give you more energy on hits. The Controverse holds, uh, and I've never used these before, but they were pretty good. I still think the Transversive Steps were better because there's just no need for it. I am getting my grenade back really quickly at 100 Discipline. And with uh, Demolitionist, there's just no point. But I tried it out anyways just for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it. There's no one here. What? It still tagged him? Yo, that was nowhere near him. That was like max range. He was on the box, and I threw it here. Yum, son. I was not expecting that. What the fuck? I mean, I already knew how good this was, but I don't know why that, that surprises me sometimes. I still get shocked at the range sometimes to this day. Oh, the little third peak. You're getting bagged on YouTube. Sorry. He deserves it, though. He pulled his sword out. What a loser. I have Demolitionist, hence why I'm going for a bunch of primary kills when I can. I'm going to melee so I could reload my eyes, Luna. Where are they going to spawn? This way. Do I want to pre-throw it? They're going to be here, right? Right in front of me. Nade? If my teammate gets him weak, I get the trade for him. And he didn't get him weak, so I'll get an assist for it instead. That sucks. How did you not get him weak at all? On the heavy ammo so I can stop them from getting it. And I'm going to grab it as quick as possible and shoot a Gallahorn down the left side. There we go. Wait, it didn't track? It should kill him anyways. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm very surprised it didn't track, though. I have another nade for the next gunfight, hopefully. Oh, he's charging it up, too. I heard it right there. Did you guys hear it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I tagged him with mine. I tagged a few of them with mine, actually. But unfortunately, since he did throw an Axion Bolt at me, I couldn't push up. But that kind of show you, shows you guys, you actually you, you can't just run at it. You have to either shoot it or... Uh, I guess you can run at it if you don't care about dying. That guy's one shot. I'm going to throw an Axion Bolt now. And if I get this Titan weak, it should be a free kill. And then the Hunter might die. No, I think he got away or someone else killed him. All right, cool. Already halfway to my nade again. I did take off the... Uh, I was going to run the other exotics again, the gauntlets exotics, but I've been kind of like testing it out and stuff. And in all honesty, as long as you're running Demolitionist and Grenade Kickstart, you don't need the uh, those gauntlets that give you energy on a hit because you just play better with a movement exotic. And if you're not using movement exotic, you could slap a fitting aspects on and you'll play just as good. So there's just no need for it. I'm going to get ready for a sick nade here. 
He's double or he's single headed, so he should die. All right, watch this. You know what? Don't watch it because that was trash. That was absolute garbage. How dare I? A boom. Oh man. You know, Nova Bomb very rarely is pretty nice. In that situation, it actually worked out pretty good. But um, there are a lot of times where Nova Bomb is just really, really trash. We're gonna shotgun the grape. Shotgunning the Axion Bolt's probably your best bet. I'm not even lying. It's a consistent one-shot kill on it. <laughs> oh, yes, dude. Thank you. I'm surprised I didn't get a multi right there, though. The guy didn't die to my to my grape, so it didn't it didn't do with the bloom effect, which kind of sucks. I got a bunch of them weak right there. Go with your goldie, man. Come on. Come on, hit your shots. Ooh, you got gunned. Someone's on my left. Go for the melee, and we should have an Axion Bolt for the next guys. Throw that. He should die to it. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> Those are the best parts, man, when you just get multi-kills like that for no reason. He's dead. Oh, that's another mercy. Jesus. That was a pretty good game, though. Uh, I do think I prefer transversive steps over the uh, the, gaunt the other gauntlets. But I will say the other gauntlets have their place for sure. It's just not really my style, though. I don't know how many kills we got. 28. Not bad. Holy fuck. Okay. I have a nade here. I'm going to throw it at this guy. And hopefully he dies to the actual nade. There we go. Move, man. Move. Where are you going? You're going to die. I'll try to help you out. Watch out. There's like 5,000 of them. I don't know if you can take them all out at once, but he's doing it, I think. No, no. They're shooting me. Now you got to help me, man. It's, 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 it's your turn. Or not. I have a nade. I'm going to just melee him and let the, let the nade kill him. There we go. Because I do want to get the nade charge. We're going to put a rift. Get ready to shotgun. Ooh, thank you. There's another guy. Good job. Awesome. And I do have another nade ready for the next fight, hopefully. Guys, all the way across. I'm going to get ready to toss it. Wait, are, did they kill everyone? Hey, yeah, I guess they did. I'm going to go to their spawn again, which is probably A now. Some guys across from here. That'll chase them. I just need to hit him one time. There we go. He just wasted his whole clip on that one nade. I'm gonna push up in, in their in their spawn. Hopefully they don't notice. He's dead. They actually don't notice yet, which is really good. You put a rift up, but I do have to reload. Titan's dead. I do have a nade already. I'm gonna charge it. Throw it in their spawn. Should kill one guy. There we go. Tagged another one. That was the guy that it tagged in, on the right side here. I don't think he's gonna challenge right away. We can put a rift up and try to just outgun them over and over again. He's dead. That guy's won. We're going to back up since my rift is gone. It's not really safe to stay there anymore. The guy on B might just run towards me, though. There we go. Perfect. I'm trying to get as many uh, IS Luna kills as I can because I have Demolitionist on. He's two-tapped. I'm going to go for the shotgun. Some guy's behind me, though. Melee. We're going to nade, and hopefully he just dies to it. There we go. Slide this. He's dead. And there you go, man. I mean, it just it just does not get easier than that. The best part about this is the melee chains. So, or I guess it, it gets my my grenade back every time I get a charged melee kill. I'm gonna see if I can go for a Nova if they push up. There we go. We're gonna break out easily. And some guy's capturing B right now, which is not good. Just go on, get him. Thank you. And this is a mercy. Looks like it's a good game. It sucks I couldn't get even more grenade kills, but I got a decent amount, especially when I was spawn killing them. If anything, I got a lot of melee hits, not too many kills. But either way, it works out, and you can see that it's pretty damn easy to chain and get a bunch of grenades over and over again. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Today has been a nightmare. I had a lot of technical difficulties. A lot of the videos I had saved up were really bad quality and I'm kind of stressing over it. So that's why the two gameplays you watched today are pretty short. At least they were high KDs. But again, I do apologize for that. The next few videos should be a little better. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And like always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.